Welcome to Feminism. My name is Kelly. And I'm Mari. And in this segment, Beauty Meets Science. So today we're going to learn about color and its relation to the electromagnetic spectrum and then apply to our faces through a makeup tutorial. It will be featuring a wavelength range from 520 to 570, which we'll explain later. So what exactly is color? Color is a type of wave, more specifically an electromagnetic wave. These waves are unique because they can travel through a vacuum and are created by electric charge. All of the electromagnetic waves fall on a spectrum known as, you guessed it, the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum is split into different sections based on the wave properties. Color is one of those spectrums, otherwise known as the visible light spectrum. It's called this because they're the only wavelengths on the spectrum that we can see with our special eyes. <laughs> Each specific wavelength, ranging from 400 to 700 nanometers on the visible light spectrum, represents a particular color. The color green, for example, falls in the range 520 to 570. We'll put a link down below to a Wolfram widget where you can enter in a wavelength measurement and it'll show you what color it is. The order of the wavelengths from longest to shortest is the same as the rainbow. Remember Roy G. Biff? We'll start to break it to you, but indigo is not technically observed within the spectrum. It was put in there so that there would be a vowel in the last name of the acronym. White is a mix of the entire visible spectrum, black is the absence of the visible spectrum, and well, pink, sorry to break it to you, <laughs> but it doesn't exist. Link down below to why. An object appears to be a certain color because of all the wavelengths are absorbed in the object except for the color that you see. So for this part of the makeup section of this <laughs> video, I'm going to do Kelly's makeup for more of a nighttime-ish look. Yeah, but first you want to talk about a beauty blogger that we found, and it is Brightest Bulb in the Box Beauty for Critical yeah. Minds, and she definitely takes a very scientific approach to makeup. Uh, for instance, she just did a statistical analysis on whether you should spend or save your Sephora points. Yeah, and she does like analyzations of makeup, like the Smart Shade makeup moves, like products coming out, and if they're actually Smart Shade or not. It's really cool. Yeah. So for Kelly's makeup look, I'm taking inspiration from the 2013 color of the year, which is an emeraldy color, and so I'm going to try to make it as wearable as humanly possible. I know green can scare some people. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to turn you into a wicked witch. Oh, are you sure? Because I kind of want to. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of green, but not yeah. too overwhelming, and I balance that with some gold and a lighter yeah. lip color to balance out her eyes. <laughs> so to start this all... Start with some foundation okay. for your eyes, which we call lid primer. This is the All About Shadow Primer for Eyes from Clinique. Mm -hmm. I own a lot of Clinique. <laughs> <laughs> she loves Clinique. Do you need a t-shirt that says that? That'd be cool. Can you make me one? Yeah. Okay. I need it, and you need a t-shirt that says something about liking. Um, goats. Goats. <laughs> I do love. You goats. You do love goats. And I'm just gonna use it, uh, my finger to blend it because the heat from my finger will help it move around. So, eyelid primer is good for a lot of different reasons, especially if you have oily eyelids to prevent creasing and it also makes the shadows a lot more vibrant and it should help with fallout, which is when the shadow from your eye just somehow magically travels down here. <laughs> so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, from this giant crazy looking palette, <laughs> use the green color right there. Yeah. Something fell. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. I got a green one there. I don't actually ever use like the little spongy things that they give you. I'm gonna actually just use a flat shading brush like this and just pluck lightly a little into her eye. And I'm gonna use kind of like a pressing motion to try to get it like to stick to um, the primer to prevent it from falling out. Spider Man. Spider Man. <laughs> Time to stick to up, uh, stick to makeup where he can. What? Sure. Oh God. Maybe the like solution that he uses to stick to the walls can be formulated into some kind of like shadow. I know. Thing. And so I'm gonna emphasize um, it more on the outer corner of her eye, and then move lighter as it goes in. Next eye. And I'm just gonna put this color on her lid. This will help it not overwhelm her eye, especially if you're scared of this crazy color. And if you had hooded like, eyes like I do, it would just look more like a liner. Pretty excited to be a wicked witch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're one of those wicked witches, like the one of the other. Mm hmm. I'm the one of the Pacific Northwest. I have like. Instead of flying monkeys, I have flying like bracken ferns and 
you know. and then any cleanup, I'm just gonna use a baby wipe to clean it up before we go anywhere further. Mm. I'm also the one that stays home on Saturdays and watches Netflix. I'm the cool one with the Netflix account. That just sums up our life anyways. <laughs> Either that or we're filming videos. Yeah. <laughs> Netflix is a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. And Hulu. Hulu. Actually, I'm more of a fan of Hulu, but I'm more of a fan of television than yeah. I am of, um, than I am of movies. I'm a television person. And then I'm going to use a more fluffy brush to put a little bit of golden color on the upper part of her eye. I'm going to pack it more into the inner corner of her eye as well. Okay. And then for liner, I'm going to just smudge some black, um, actually some gray, um, to line her eye. Mostly because the green is already so intense that you really don't need anything crazy lining wise. And it's going to blend kind of just right within the green. It's not going to be like a hard crazy liner. No coral eyeliner. <laughs> no coral eyeliner. <laughs> but maybe a coral lippy. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna have her just wipe off all of the extra green, the possible fallout, before we put anything else on. Now while she is doing that, I would then have her put mascara on, but I don't share mascara with other people because that's a really easy way of getting pink eye. The coral eyeliner. Yeah, the real coral eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> you think I got it? I think you got most of it. I think you're gonna get as much of it. And then whatever you can't get, you're gonna end up covering with foundation. Okay. So I'm gonna let you do this. Okay. I'm just gonna put a little in your hands. Good. And you want to start with your nose and kind of work out. Yeah. And we can do it together. We can tag team this. Friendship. Friendship in its highest form. My face is a piece of art. It really is. It smells like honey. It's so nice. Yeah, there's honey in this one. This is a Boots Botanical. So in the Hunger Games, just send me foundation bottles so that I could just eat the honey and no choose. <laughs> no control. one will try to steal it from you yeah. because they're like, who, what girl would bring foundation to the, the Hunger Games? I know. You know. And then I'm just going to use a little to conceal under her eyes where there is some possible shadow fallout. Right, work it out, work it out, rub it out. Twerk it out, let's twerk it out. No, we're twerking. No, <laughs> this is a no twerking I zone. saw that headline in a magazine at St. Babe ever since. Oh no. Oh no, I'm scared now. Ever since, I'm like, let's twerk it out, people. So um, now I'm going to just use some shine control powder to set it. I do this especially if you are going to be dancing at all to try to make sure that your makeup stays in place and you don't sweat it out. <laughs> sweat it out, sweat it out, sweat yeah. it out. Her face just falls in the middle of the dance. <laughs> Hello guys, introducing a new character. <laughs> and then I'm gonna follow it up with um, a pretty light but a little bit shimmering blush. Smile. That's not that one. <laughs> Make sure you dip your brush in the right makeup. Okay. And then... Lippy tops. Two different lippy choices. <laughs> These are color whispers. Um, first, I have this a nude colored one. Which is like a nude shimmery color. 
And this definitely makes it so your look can be more daytimey. And then a fun, more corally color, just a light bit of it. It goes great with the green color. Okay. okay. I'll get you my pretty. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching. We'll put all of the links that we mentioned in this video down below. And don't forget to subscribe to all of our social media accounts. As well as subscribe to YouTube so you never miss our beautiful faces. Bye! Bye! Okay, I'm going to start now. Okay, so the first thing I do is I put Watts, is I use Benefits Watts Up, which I think is supposed to be a highlighter, um, and I put it all over my lid. My entire, like, lid of my eye. But I mostly put it on the upper part. And then I rub it all the way down. And that just acts, use this as a base. It's a kind of shimmery base. Next, I'm going to use a chubby stick in lavish lilac and put it just on my lid. Time check, Kelly. Two minutes and 13 seconds. That's how much time I have left? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to use Quick Liner in Violet and just line the outer part of my eye. I'm not going to go all the way across. I'm going to start in the corner and go about a quarter to three fourths way in. This is because I have almond shaped eyes and if I went all the way across it would look like I had no eyes. A minute and 30. Ah! You can do it! Next I'm going to use some BB cream. <laughs> I tend to use my hands and then finish with a beauty blender, but today we're just going to use my hands. <laughs> forehead, girl. Forehead. <laughs> Kelly's making sure I blend <laughs> right. All it in. One minute. Okay. I'm going to throw some blush on my cheeks. Apparently opening it is the hardest thing. Now where's my blush brush? Ah! Things are happening. Oh, you're doing. Okay. Smile. <sighs> Throw it on there. Smile. Happy, happy. Happy feelings. Okay, last but certainly not least, I'm gonna put on a lippy. This is a new one I just got. It's a you have 30 thoughts. seconds. Okay. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Finish with 22 seconds of counting. And that 22 seconds I'm gonna use to make sure that my Foundation got spread it okay. Forehead corner. Forehead corner, thank you. Yep. She's keeping me on top of things. Alright, 10, 9, 8, oh no, it's 7, it's 6 now. 5, 4, <laughs> 3, 2, 1.